Ball Super Card Game, Fusion World. Dragon Ball has always been a part of my life in one way or another. If it's from the TV series, if it's from the movies, if it's from the manga, if it's from the countless video games, I have enjoyed Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball, etc. But there's one part that Dragon Ball has touched that I have not delved into, and that is the card game. Growing up, I didn't really play card games, and the closest I ever came to was actually collecting Pokemon cards. And in the last few years, I have actually really delved into playing different kind of card games. This started with Magic the Gathering, then I tried Pokemon TCG, and just recently I'm delving into Yu-Gi-Oh! But I've always wanted to play the Dragon Ball card game because I'm such a massive fan of the Dragon Ball series because it honestly has impacted me and shaped my life in so many ways. So even if it was just to collect the art, I wanted to delve into the Dragon Ball card game. And just recently, a new Dragon Ball card game has come out and I have gotten my opportunity to delve in and actually see what it's like to play this game. And luckily for me, I didn't need anyone to play with well anyway that I knew because they had a online client that I could delve into and so I jumped in so join me as I show you my experience of playing this game for 40 hours let's see if it's worth your time because the game is theoretically free if you play the online client and let's just see if it's worth your time if it's worth your money and we'll just see how it's like to actually play the game and to see if it's even good Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World. There's one problem I have about the tutorial and that it's very much, it feels like the instructions to the actual card game, if you were playing the game, because there, there is a physical version of this and that's what came out first. Kind of similar to, again, the Pokemon TCG, it has a physical version first. And so it kind of has a lot of similar. So we'll just jump into it though. The basic game procedures. So this is the problem I have. A lot of it is in just waves of text, which is just like a game uses one leader card and a deck built using 50 to 60 other cards. Then the deck is placed in your deck area. When there are zero cards in your opponent's deck area or when your opponent's life is reduced to zero cards, you win the game. All right, a turn proceeds in the following order. Charge phase, main phase, end phase. Another thing I will say about this game has a weird mix between Magic the Gathering and honestly Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh too much. I would actually like to go on a journey of learning Yu-Gi-Oh, but that's not that's not what we're doing today. Start the charge phase. Draw one card from your deck. The first player can't draw on the first turn. After drawing a card, you may place any one card from your hand into your energy area in active mode. You can also choose to keep it in your hand. See, the keep in your hand, I did not realize until much later, I had to learn it on my own. This is just like a Magic Gathering, playing down lands so that you can play your cards. You need that energy pool. Instead of actually having lands, you actually get to put your own cards that you draw into that pool. I, I actually really like it. I think it's a cool concept. It lets it be more flexible. So it goes in here, energy area. You can check the current status of cards in your energy. During the main phase, you can perform various actions such as using a card or attacking. To play a battle card in the battle area, you must pay the cost specified on the card by switching the e equivalent number of energy to rest mode. So you gotta pay as much energy for the thing. Alright, let me go play it. It usually tends to auto select, which I kinda like. Click on the energy for the paying cost. Okay. And then firm. It goes into rest mode down here and we play it. By switching an active mode character card to rest mode, you could attack an opponent's card after switching a card to rest mode. <laughs> you can switch it back to active mode at the start of your charge phase, so at the beginning of your turn. When attacking an opponent's battle card, you can only choose one of their rest mode cards as you are attacking. That makes sense. I'll explain. So only those who were actually rested who have swung out their last turn can be hit. So we can't hit Goten. Why say go tank? Go tanks. The card with the higher power will win the battle. If both cards have the same power, the attack card always wins. This game favors attacking. Because the guard card has the same power, the attack card wins the battle. After winning a battle with a battle card, the attack card KOs the guard card. A KO'd card is placed in the owner's drop. Not graveyard, drop. So now we can attack here. Even though we just played it, there is no such thing as like summoning sickness from other games. You can just put it down and play. Win a battle against a leader card. The leader card isn't KO'd, but it takes damage to its life. 
After a player takes damage to your life, cards from their life are added to their hand according to the amount of damage. Very cool. I actually like that as like a comeback mechanic. Now, an interesting part is it says for how much damage it has done. That's because there are certain cards called like double strike, which will hit the dude twice. And so no matter how strong your card is, as long as it beats when it hits the, the leader, it only does one. You can also use your leader card to attack your opponent's leader card. This was, this was crazy, but I was like, what? These just get an attack for free? <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> and they have cool animations sometimes. All right, card skills and battle procedures. When you play Master Roshi, you can draw one card from your deck. Let's try actually playing it and activating this skill. All right, played. And cool, now they want us to attack. A battle proceeds in the following order. We have the offense step, defense step, damage step. During the offense step, the attacking player can use a combo or activate a spill. By using a combo, you can get additional power for your card during the damage step for the battle. This this is the crazy part. So the added combo power is here to the left side of the card, not the, not the main power. So you don't have to pay anything for this. It's literally just like, let me use this card to boost up this other card. Now it gets rid of the card, like the card will now go to our, our drop, but it's like it still boosts them. Click on Wheeze. So we could actually not only use it stuff from our hands, but if they're not in rest, we could also use the cards that are on the field. Now they know how much power I'm going to have, now they can do the same. So now he's buffing himself up. Hey, meets beats, baby! When another card is attacked, a card with the blocker skill can change the attack target to itself by switching to the rest of them. Pretty crazy. I, I think the blocker skill is so crazy because you normally don't have like a normal block kind of mode. It's very much like the person who's going to be uh, attacking really gets to dictate what's going to happen on their turn. But like just being like, no, you're not attacking me here. Forcing them to attack here is pretty good. And then uh, they want us to use Shin to uh, combo. Get boosted. God, Kamehameha is an extra card. Thank you for telling me it here. An extra card is a single use card that is placed in your drop area. Play after paying the cost to activate it. These cards provide support through various skills or effects. So, God, Kamehameha, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 3,000, 30,000. Click on the energy for paying the two costs. All right, and we're gonna blast Bulma. Yeah, I hear boom. <laughs> Leader cards have a special skill called Awaken that activates when the requirements are met. This is very fun. I like this. How can you not like that? You just get to like boost up your card. It's great. Literally go Super Saiyan. Like, I don't know. It's a good time. Uh, use all your combo cards. Buff them up. Make it so that he can't block. He can't buff up no matter what. That was the tutorial. Now we have a good grasp of the game. Now let's talk about what, how I feel about the game and what I kind of did starting off. Uh, of the games you can play, there is a rank mode. I haven't done any. All I've done is done free matches, which is what it is. When you start, they don't give you a deck or nothing. They literally give you a free like token to get a deck. And they're like, hey, go get a deck. <laughs> when choosing which starter deck to pick, you have four different options. You can do the red aggro Goku. You could do the blue hand manipulation with staying under seven head cards with Vegeta. You could do the ramping style, kind of get to the late game Brawly green deck. Or you could be Frieza, who has a interesting battle mechanic of trying to switch back into active mode. All good decks. Honestly, if you want a suggestion of which one to pick first, probably pick either Frieza or Brawly, but all of them are pretty good. Maybe avoid Vegeta, but you, you can make it work if you wanted to. We chose Brawly and uh, multiple reasons why. Basically, we didn't just choose Brawly. This game compared to some other games, is not the best for free to play users and new players for multiple reasons. One, as we look at our emissions, the one good side of this game is there's not a lot of multiple currencies. I'm glad about that. So many games have multiple currencies and it can be confusing. So far, the only thing I've seen is gems. That's the only thing. And so it's pretty straightforward. You get gems and then you can go spend those gems. Pretty simple. It's just kind of like it's a little bit more grindy than what you would like, I guess, from what I've heard of other people do in the math. 
But for a free to play user, the best way to actually get more gems is through the weeklies you'll see here. It says use a red leader card to win a ranked free deck. Now there's one for each color. So that's kind of important if you want to actually get more gems. It, you're going to be missing out on some missions like here use a blue leader I don't have a blue leader so I literally can't get this mission so one of the suggestions was like for a free to play player if you really want to maximize how much gems you can get you kind of need to have all like every colored like deck that you can kind of already which is kind of hard for people for free to play users I wanted to buy some other stuff but I ended up getting a, a brawly deck and I was playing for a bit and then, because I saw that that suggestion of like, t if you really want to grind it and all that as a free to play user, you're gonna want a deck for each section. I fought myself. I was getting close to getting up to this a uh, thousand so that I could do ten packs with the the SR rarity or higher. Uh, because I really want to get Gohan. I love Gohan. Gohan's my favorite character. But I said no, and so I made the decision. To just work my way to getting every uh, starter deck. So I got Frieza because I heard Frieza is actually kind of fun for what it does. So I got Frieza and then with the with the gems. Uh, and this was just from playing yesterday. And getting most of my weeklies, getting most of my dailies. Well, getting my dailies, getting most of my weeklies. Uh, I got uh, Goku. I got Frieza. And now it costs 400 gems to get the last one. And so we need 100 more and then I can get uh, Vegeta. The way I look at it is like, at the very least, I'm a free-to-play user. Getting those multiple decks does allow me to have variety. Even though they're all vanilla decks, it's still variety. This is like pay to win. I mean, kind of. I mean, it's a card game, right? Like, so to some regards, the game wants you to pay money. But, I mean, it's one of those where I, how I look at it is, this is less free-to-play friendly. Which just means that, hey... If I do care and want to play it, maybe I do buy a actual physical deal. Because, again, if I want to collect that, that could be cool. The game is fun. Or I just keep in mind that, hey, that's just the reality. It's going to be kind of a grind. And it's going to kind of suck. And you know what? It is what it is. And it just means this is less of a priority of a game I play. Maybe I, I'll check in every week to get my weeklies. And that's about it. And that's okay. I have plenty of other games to play. And... To this not be a high priority is okay. Sucks? Yes. Definitely sucks, but is what it is. But we are going to be doing ranked today. That's what we're playing today. We're playing ranked. I want to see what it's like. Ranked match information. Ranked matches are a battle mode where you can try to achieve a high battle rank. You, you can obtain rank points through battle victories and losses. All right. I just know there's also rewards for it. And so that's also a way to get currency. Of our decks, I actually don't know which one to play first. Uh, Frieza, I've only played like two times. I like I like the leader. The leader card is really fun. When it's flipped over, it has when attacking, draw one card, and then end of your turn, choose up to two of your battle cards and switch them to active mode. This is really powerful. So it makes certain cards, because he has certain cards in here like Zarbon, which is a blocker. So that means they can make it where forces you to block them instead of a different card you're trying to attack. You don't get to have that effect if you're in rest mode. So if you swung with this card, you won't be able to make use of his blocker trait. When Frieza's like leveled up, when he's in final form, that doesn't matter because you could swing out and then choose him to be unswinged. It's just, I love it. It's so good. I think it might be easy early on to do some of Sun Goku, especially since a lot of people are pulling Brawly. And so Brawly is very much a late game deck and being very aggro could be helpful. Can they beat Goku when we jump into rank today? Let's let's jump it. First rank game. All right. Well, that was our first match. Something to keep in mind as we did get into rank. I was warned that rank was going to be super tough. Yes, part of it is due to our, our lack of having other cards than just the starter decks. But boy, is rank rough. It was probably more rough than I thought it was going to be. We did try other different decks to see if it would help us out in any ways. Especially using decks like Frieza that I already know I might be able to have better luck with. Or at least what I thought would help me with having better luck. All right, Frieza did not help. But we continued our ranked matches, even though the matchmaking did not help either. But we're getting more materials to help with that. Well, I don't have that. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Goku. I... 
Is it just for this battle? And as you could probably tell, we're already being outmatched by just different kind of card selection. Look, they got cards like this. They got they got Ultra Instinct Goku, all right? What am I supposed to do? Win? I tried. GG's. You know what's crazy? Look, I was warned that this is tough. I was warned that. Here's the thing, though. I was really expecting to, like, at least run into somebody else that is, like, also like me who who's just has a starter deck. But I haven't run into a single person who has a starter deck. All right. I think we are going to try some, some free matches, see how it goes differently. That's what I was playing earlier uh, yesterday, and I did get some wins in free matches. But rank, boy, crazy. Uh, if we can get some, uh, what's called, wins, though, then we can actually get maybe enough crystals to actually get another deck, and that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think if they matched up more evenly. Yeah, yeah. Like, again, I'm, I'm shocked that I haven't, within the ranked, I haven't run into one other person that had just a regular deck. And maybe that's just because normal people aren't playing the ranked yet, which is okay. But we continued our ranked matches, and luckily enough, we were blessed with fighting another person with just a basic deck. Let's go ahead and attack so that we can get a card, see what we're punching up to. Buff up Goku. Only has one card. Yay! All right, we're gonna swing here. Hope he tries to deal something. We should have swung here because of the crit. He did get a card from that. Teehee. Yep. Which he wastes. Not waste. Uses to survive. This is the proper turn. But now we swing here. And we could have done it last turn with this, but I wanted to bait out him using cards. So now we do it here. And we get the kill. <laughs> GG's. Uh, use a red leader to win a match. So if we get more more wins, one more we'll get ten. So yeah, if we just keep playing Goku and then switch to the other colored for some of these, we should be able to get enough to get another deck. So that'll be cool. Let's jump into another free match. <laughs> so, it's, so it's, we're just getting bodied. We're just getting bodied and ranked. All right. So I've, I've fought a Beerus before. Beerus has an interesting thing. It's also a red deck. So the thing about Beerus is it's it's more of a critical deck where the, the dude itself does critical, which is interesting. I think we get rid of TN for this, right? Yeah. We blocked the critical. Oh no, don't swing at me. Don't give me a card. Yes. I want to get rid of his cards, and then we can go in crazy with like the Vegeta and the Beerus and hitting him with criticals. Because he's low on cards, so we can't really protect from them. I'm just tempted if I want to go with Goku to attack here. If I do, I might have to get rid of that, which isn't bad. Oh, I should have played this first. If I was smart, I would have played this first, swung, and then I could still play like this. Just play Beerus. It's okay. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. It'd probably be better just to get down to four, but I want to keep as much health as possible. Beerus discards one card from your hand. Choose all opponents' battle cards with 25 power or less and KO them. No! I didn't even get to make use of a Bigelow! Ah, uh, you're gonna try to KO my, my double strike, eh? Talk about Battle of the Gods, am I right? Ha, uh ha, -huh. you, you guys remember that movie? Ha, uh ha, -huh. right. I'm fine with that. We get a card and I can flip. Let's flip. I forget I get a card when I flip. It's so worth it. And then our skill is choose up to one of your cards. It gets 500 for this battle. Yeah, that's worth it. Because I want my card to survive. Nice. My turn. I am going to try to attack here. See what he does. 
Hummy, hummy! Ah. Alright, he only has one more left. Uh, and then we're just gonna swing here. Kinda makes double strike a little bit worse. I just realized that, but... We can just go ham and just buff it and see if we can block it. Oh, I didn't... I didn't do my skill. I could've done my skill. I was a fool. It's not enough. Yay! Alright, how many gems do I get? 40? Let's go! You know what that means? That means we have enough in our second day of playing this game. We have enough to get all four of the starter decks. Wrapping up our first leg of this journey with this game, we decided to do some deck building with messing around, seeing what the blue deck actually has. Sadly, right now, it does seem like the Vegeta deck does seem to be the worst deck, so a kind of reason why I kind of picked it last. But even so, we still took it into rank to see how it plays, and I don't hate it. I don't think any of the Sturdo decks are bad at all. I think each one has its own charms, but I mean, there is some clear winners. Obviously, the Brawly deck is probably the better one. Green right now is just read ridiculous but if you want to count on that yellow's kind of looked at as the other package that is also really good what i'm trying to say is yes even though we tried out blue for the first time and tried out our vegeta deck for the first time uh we uh we did end it off with a lose for uh this first part of our leg of this journey hopefully it won't always be like this if you made it this far in the video Honestly, just thank you so much. Your support alone through watching this content has been a lot. I, I greatly appreciate it. But if you don't mind me, I did set up a Patreon not too long ago. I have it, and it's a way to actually help me more if you are willing to. I, again, it's a lot of work to do these videos and a lot of time, and honestly, it does take money. And so if you wouldn't mind helping me, I do have a Patreon. There's three tiers that I have. I have one that's a $1 a month. That helps me. There's a $5 and then there's a $10 if you're willing to give that much, but you don't have to. You could just spend the $1 a month and what value do you actually get? Well, hey, if you actually want to have some dictation of what games I actually cover in my reviews or etc., well, this $1 a month and even the $5 a month really help with deciding that through voting. It lets you actually pick whatever games you want me to see review, whether it's just picking a poll or even if you do the $5 a month, you actually get to say, hey, I suggest this game. So if you want to help me out, it greatly would be appreciated. And I would love to see you actually take part in actually shaping the channel through deciding what I get to play. All right, chill over. Back to this log video. I have rose the ranks. How much? Not very far. <laughs> we start off at tier five. I've gotten up to tier three, baby. <laughs> As I mentioned, even though this video is kind of like, ooh, can you play this game uh, free to play? That was last stream's idea. I have paid money on this game, and with that, I have gained, ex I, I've, I've literally have rose ranks since paying money for this game. Is that sad? Yes. Uh, when it looked at as the free to play method, if you wanted to be a free to play player, how you wanted to make money, make the gems, well, it all has to do with these missions. There's not a lot, but the reason why you would get four the four different colored decks is because you get gems on use a red leader card to win a rank or free match. And they have one for each colored. So they have blue, green, yellow. And so we literally to maximize how many gems we can get within that's a weekly, how much we can get in a week, even though it's just 10 gems, which is not a lot. We got four different decks. Now, if you look at my decks here, I have more than that because I did end up spending money. So after getting that those decks and playing for a bit, I did end up spending roughly not quite ten dollars. I, I spent nine dollars. I, I basically spent ten dollars. I basically spent so I could get a ten pack. I prayed to get this Gohan and God said, no, just just play the game, enjoy what you have. Now that I have spent money, I have literally gotten better at the game and I hate that so much. Even if we look at our Brawly deck here, the cards I got have helped out. Like 
Sun Goku, a little draw. That's just gonna be a benefit. We pulled this Android 18. We sadly only have one, but it's a good one where it's like at uh, six energy or more, which we're trying to get to anyways. Uh, whenever he attacks, it draws a card, which is a draw engine, which at that point, if Brawly's awakened and flipped over, he's not drawing anymore. So it's like, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I did build some decks. We have, we, Brawly has been upgraded. Frieza has been upgraded. I really like Frieza. It as a leader is really good just because on its awaken, uh, it makes your other cards flip back over, which is crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. I like Trunks. We got Trunks and I, I built a deck around it. It doesn't have a lot of the really, really good cards for, for Trunks. His leader card is interesting in that whenever he attacks, it draws a card, but activate main once per turn, choose up to one battle card with cost three or less and return it to an owner's hand. So you can just bounce people's cards back to their hand. Pretty good. And your own. Uh, we got Goku Black. I actually have seen a little bit of Goku Black. He is actually pretty cool, but we don't have the cards for him. I think the better card that I like the most that we got, though, was Cooler himself. He's a cool card. It's a blocker and has, whenever it attacks or blocks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode, and then if that card has a cost of two or less, KO it. That's wild. That's like pretty solid and to 30k. Like a 30k blocker is pretty meaty. That's going to block majority of things. So these these are the three decks we're going to be playing. Trunks. We're going to play some Frieza. We're going to be playing some Brawly. Just because Brawly's gross. Uh, let's finally get into some rank. But before we get into rank, of course, we get sidetracked by the awful, awful gem progression. Literally, look at this. It's sad that one, two, three, four, only four kind of like sections for dailies. And it only gives you five gems. Even the 10, the things that give you 10 gems, that feels weak. That doesn't even feel like a lot. Maybe they don't want you getting as much gems, but like, come on. Five? Five feels bad. It does not feel worth it. So five for a weekly, it's usually 10. They do have one for 20. That's nice. But like, ah, oh, that does not feel good. They do have achievements also, which I've been playing a lot of, which makes me feel bad because it's like, only gonna get worse and worse and less likely so it's like use a red card to win a match uh and so i've been using that but like now it's at i have to get four wins before i can get this 10 cost which makes sense that it scales uh i can't wait for events that's going to help a lot with getting gems as a free-to-play user because i'm still going to be mostly a free-to-play user what should we play first should we play frieza should we play brawly or should we play trunks let me grab a a a uh Either a D4 or a D6. We'll roll it. Brawly's one. Freeze's two. Trunks is three. And for the fourth one, it will be basically one of these kind of decks. Which we'll roll off again to see which one it is. Alright? Makes sense? Alright. It is three. So we are playing Trunks. Uh, I'm hoping to get at least two silver, because then we get a we get a booster pack. Yeah. All right, Rebecca's a Vegeta. Let's get a first win. Oh, shoot. Uh, we have two. What does this do? Vegeta, if you have seven or fewer cards in hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle costs or two or less and return in hand. Oh, that's actually really good early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's on play. That's scary. I thought it was an attack one. We have a better one that's an attack, but this is pretty good. lag all right uh we do want to block here we want to save as much cards on our field as possible usually seems to be the best play goodbye shu all right we did get the kill for it that's worth i think we just do the go the gohan i gotta play a little bit faster i take too long when i stream whenever i'm streaming and, and talking i just take too long we let him destroy this because then he's more likely to hit us and get us more cards. We want to get our 5 drop. I guess we can let the 15 through. It feels bad when it's such an easy thing to block. But I guess we want to get low anyways. Uh, no, I think we want to get rid of this. Yeah, this one. We honestly need a 5 drop. That's our problem. We don't have a 5 drop yet. I don't want you. Alright, let's flip. And we drop draw our fourth cost. <laughs> this would have been nice to have. 
I would have liked to use you, but hey, okay. So now we can either do a two cost or a three. Most likely a two, because we still want to save that. I guess we do that and pass. <sighs> yeah, I guess this is the best we do. We're in a weird spot. Oh. Okay, actually, 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 hold, hold, because we don't have any, any trunks in the drop. As you can see, we're running low on time because I talk too much. Uh, uh, let's add one life. Let's risk it. I was hoping it was a five gauss. All right, keep up the pressure. Keep swinging. He is running low. He doesn't block it, um, but now we can go crazy. Oh, I ran out of time, so I couldn't even super combo. That's fine. We didn't need to super combo. Super comboing would have been, like, risky. Because he has so many cards, he's obviously going to use his cards. But they want to destroy this. Do I care about saving this? I kind of want to. Oh, I ran out of time. All right, that's on me. I got to be careful. I'm so low on time because I keep talking. All right, let's flip. Let's bounce. We can bounce this. We swing here. Pressure. Hopefully, he blocks. I was hoping we could get a crazy good card. We don't have a crazy good card. We might put it all into Trunks Youth. Unless they just give up. No, okay. Uh, this is a draw Trunks. Let's put it down. Hopefully we can draw our five cost. Finally. Okay, this isn't crazy, but if we swing here, he'll have to use a card, which means then when we put this card down, we can actually more likely be able to swing out with it. Because it's a 35, so it's higher power. Let's get our, our 5 cost. It took a while to finally get our 5 cost. That's crazy. Go to the bottom of your deck. I forgot that's what it did. Alright, now we buff up. Buff, buff the jam. Buff it up. It's really risky to use those super combos on an attack phase. You really should save them even as like a worst case scenario. If we don't, if he blocks this, it would have been better to save those super combos. But hey, we're just going crazy because he only has four cards. Okay, there's one super combo. He still needs to use more than two. Yeah, because we're still ahead. So he only has two cards. And the benefit is even if he does block this, oh... Okay, so he does block it. He only has one card. We have three lives, so we can get hit. Uh, let's check their drop real quick. Was that all their super combos is the question. No, they have one more super combo, it looks like. They have to get rid of their stuff, and then we can put down our, our stronger go tanks. Where when we put down the when we put down the go tanks, we'll also get more cards. So it's just better. First we'll play this. It gets us more stuff ultimately, more combo. So I guess it is better. Because it lets us get one of these back. Shoo! It's only five? Oh. I didn't grab it! Oh! <laughs> I threw! I threw! The timer! The timer! I could have won. I could have won. I could have won. I had go takes. I could have won. I can't even do these on battle. Oh my goodness. This is what I get for talking too much. I'm just over here yapping, yapping, yapping. If he catches this dub, I'm going to be furious. <sighs> Skill issue. Skill issue. I threw that game so hard. I could have won. I definitely had that game and I threw because of time. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, man. We learn from defeat, right? So I am learning that I need to play quicker. And I'll have to do that. One, playing Brawly, baby. My coffee's cold, like cooling down to where it's lukewarm. And as Jesus say, it is gross. I want to spit it out of my mouth. Gohan! Man, I want to play Gohan. And then it's harder to block the crit, dude. Or they'll play another Gohan to find their cards, make it less. Terrifying. 
terrifying. Now we don't hit him at all. <laughs> Keep him at five as long as possible. We could play down this to get a ramp card, but I'm going to say no. Going. Ramp! All right, Gohan's at four. I forgot. I forgot he's at four. I wanted to draw that card, though. Because then we save our cards. No! <laughs> Don't big bang attack my my five cost. Okay, well, androids are good. I don't remember what they do, but they're good. Choose up two of your opponent's cards with three or less. KO them. That's what I was worried about. All right. <laughs> There's always something. Oh, gosh, I, I want them to hit me at this point so that I can grab a Brawly. We need to find Brawly. Even if we found Brawly at this point, it's like we're in a rough board state. I should have retired. I should have gave up and got a new game in. Since these games do take so long. But, here we are. Because all I could do now is get out of Paragus. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Hey, we got a super combo. Get another energy. Oh, gosh. Can I just... I, I'll just retire. It's not worth fighting, right? All right, we lost. I should have did this way sooner. Wild green game with no brawlies on both sides. Even with the sad defeat, we continued on with our ranked matches. 81, what was his rank? His rank was not uh, bronze. Oh gosh. So yeah, the matchmaking is not doing so good, but hey, we're still gonna fight it. Even though we're at probably a disadvantage, just uh, card pools. You know what? We'll just have to believe in the cards, the heart of the cards, and 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 maybe our skills will shine through. <laughs> God, God, hoping. Minus a thousand. Plays down another Gohan, kills it. Does it do a similar thing? Ah, yeah, when it plays. Yeah. Okay. Can we block this? Because we can block this, take the two, and then, you know, have two cards. All right, how much is it? It's going to be at 35. That means a super combo will block it. And he, I don't think he can play something with two costs to hurt us. So we should be fine, but we could be not. Get two cards, and then kill him. Victory! But even though we just got a win with Frieza, and I was feeling pretty good with Frieza, we just, we couldn't keep going with the streak, and we had to lose a game with Frieza. But hey, you know what? This time we got to try Trunks, and Trunks is a bit of a big brain kind of play kind of deal, with his play style of being able to bounce not only your cards, but your opponent's cards. If you could sequence it correctly and really think about your plays, you could really get a lot of value. But it takes a lot of work. Let's see if we can handle it. I'm trying to see math-wise. Because I don't want to give him another super combo. He didn't play everything. So he can't really play a lot. I think we risk it. And go for this. The Vegeta. And not give him another card. Alright, we have to risk it here. Do I also do the super combo? I have to, right? Let's see if he has enough. Okay. That's not a super combo. Not a super combo. I think that's it, right? Let's go! Double strike, baby, with the Vegeta with the trunks deck. I'm like that we're getting wins. That feels nice. It does feel nice. My advice to anybody who wants to do free-to-play, definitely, I've mentioned it several times, do not play ranked. Don't play ranked. Just play free-to-play and just do it. And you know what? Keep in mind that, hey, you're not getting the full experience, and that's okay. You know, just enjoy your time with what decks you have, what starter decks, and just focus on doing these dailies. I even did the, what's it called? To get even a little bit more... It wasn't even that much, but I did it just for a little bit more. If you do solo play, you could do tutorial. Or it's practice game. I don't remember. Is it tutorial? No, it's practice. 
Th there's there's gems for practice. If you do the hard, if you clear the hard difficulty, you actually get like ten gems. So like that's for, that's some that's forty more gems potentially, which you know, as a free to play user, you scrap for whatever you can get. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. Um, so definitely don't worry and just take your time until you start to start to slowly build a deck that you can get. Let's go with Brawly. I want to see if he swings. Let's do it. Let me do the finisher with Brawly. With my boy. I don't even think he has enough. Yeah, he can't block enough. He did really good. He did, he did pretty good. With that win, though, uh, we do have enough to pull. We can get a pack. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Yes, due to impatientness, we do buy a single pack, even though you should probably just save your gems until you can do a 10 pull. It just, it helps you out way better in the long term. But, you know, us being impatient, we do pull a pack, and while we got some cards, uh, it didn't mean it was a total waste of gems. We got hit! Yes, we were able to get hit. Hit is a pretty good SR, and it's a good upgrade to the... Goku red style deck and definitely was something that is going to help out our deck a lot and help with our journey overall. I spent more money on this game. <laughs> Today I introduce you a physical starter deck baby. So yeah, we ended up actually getting a physical version of this game. There's multiple reasons why I did this one. It actually wasn't that much money. It was actually just $10 and I thought it was worth the investment. I mean, another reason why we did it is because with all the other TCG games that we've done with it being Magic the Gathering or with it being the Pokemon version, with both of those, we both have kind of gotten a physical version, so it would feel kind of weird if we played just the online version. Now, we didn't end up playing any physical matches because, well, simply put, I don't have anyone to play against, and I wasn't going to buy two starter decks. Maybe in the future, later on, after this video, I might get another starter deck so that I can actually get one of my friends involved to be like, hey, let's play together. But for right now, I literally just got it to start my physical collecting. And you know what? I chose Brawly because obviously it's what we started with at the beginning of our journey through this series. And so I decided to commit with it by getting a physical version of the Brawly deck. And you know what? I don't hate it. I can't remember if there's been improvement. There's my been because I might have pulled some cards, but I don't think I did. I think the, the only thing recent is the Android is because I got a uh, hundred gems, so I did pull an Android. I don't know if I did that on stream or not, so that is a thing. You will see here, I made it to silver. I've been petering out at this very beginning of, of, of silver, um, but at silver, one of the things you do get is a free, basically either a, a pack, you use this as a booster pack, maybe it is just a booster pack. This symbol normally means you could either use it for... It's, it's basically... The difference between gems and this is that you have to use this on cards. Gems, you can use it on, like, cosmetics and other stuff also. And there's one thing I want to show off about rank, and I don't think I'll be able to show it off unless I get from silver to gold. So I think I'm going to force myself to drop rank to go down from silver back down to bronze. For content. <laughs> For content. Man, I wish there was a, a emote system. There might be. Okay, so we need one more game to get into silver. Even though this was to showcase what it's like to actually progress in the ranks and get higher up and what it looks like. Well, we uh, we lost a few more matches. They made it a little bit more frustrating. Uh, but uh, we, we did our best to try to claw back up to silver. Doesn't have enough. That's a bummer. And we did it! Yay! Let's see what we get for a ranking. Ah, oh, nice! Now we're silver, right? Right? Rank increase battle. 
So yes, uh, for bronze, silver, and gold, I think it's through all those, it's just one battle. You have to do one battle to get into the next rank, or you'll lose points and go down. Uh, and then in later ones, it's actually multiple battles. I think we do the next match with Frieza also. Again, I think it's just my best deck. Alright, so now rink increase battle. Silver. To get into silver, we have to win this match. Or we get lowered. We have to fight our way back. We're us up against a level 1 player. Some might argue that's not fair. And I would say you're right. You can be honorable in a good sport and go easy on him. I mean, the thing is, yes, but at the same time, this is a ranked match. In when it's a ranked match and it's it's a one v one. Now I could be I could be mean to him, or I could try to play him and you know try to win. Like yeah, there, there's a difference between trying to win and being mean. But for all I know, he could also not be a new player. This could be a new account. Because there are some people who remake accounts to see if they get a better draw. Now it's a lot of work to do that process. And I don't think it's really what you should do. But that doesn't mean this is what it is. I don't know what it is. Golden, f golden beam. Alright. Um, you're swinging at me. I forgot. Okay, this is two or less. So we do block this. And when we block this, we could kill this. That's ugh, so mean. I mean, we could also flip the blocker, but that doesn't matter. Because on his end of his turn, it's also going to flip stuff. So it's like, okay, that's worth it. Cooler is ridiculous. I love, I love the card cooler. It's so good. When I pulled it, I was like, oh man, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. oh, All right. Yeah. Yep, that's just a difference in cards. If that was a new player, that new player played well. Played really well. But with that, we have made it out of bronze and into silver five. We have ranked up. So if we look at re uh, rewards, you can see the different tiers. So there's five tiers. Is it five tiers in each? It is. It's five tiers in each. So there's bronze, there's silver, there's gold, there's platinum, master, and gold. And gold, once you get into gold, then it changes from tiers to numbers, baby. We all like numbers, and with it, you get different rewards. Like, I don't think you get it accumulated, like, for each row. I think it's just, if you're at, if you're rank one, you get 10k. You, you get, you, you can get a 10 pull. I think the rewards for a rank should be a lot, personally. I think that should be the incentive for having a rank is... If you have a rank and you give rewards for rank, you should make it be pretty good. Because if it's kind of whatever, like, oh, you get a pack if you played ranked and you're in bronze. Technically two packs if you get into silver. Three in gold. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, you're right. That's not nothing. But if you think about it, those are six packs. I thought at the very least players should get to have a 10 10 pole the highest ranked but is what it is that's my thought on it as someone who isn't a game designer who doesn't play a ridiculous amount of card games and don't know the normal rate but from what I've seen this is not that crazy of rewards compared to other games but I still hate it. So yeah, we had to take a little small pause from ranked since we weren't getting any wins and weren't getting any progression through gems. So we had to switch it to free matches just to relax, to get some wins and actually get some gems that way. And at the same time, play some other decks. And that's where we kind of ended at this point of our journey. But even though we had to take a small break, doesn't mean we stopped playing rank altogether. After some time, we decided to continue our journey with rank. We are in silver. Look, if we can get gold, that'd be crazy. I don't think we would get to gold today, but if we could, that'd be. I'd be happy. I'll be a be. I'll be a happy boy. He's in gold three. The benefit is we can be a bit aggro here, and he's green, which hates aggro. The crit is pretty nice. 
I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. Destructed energy. He's rampant! Now, if I didn't want to hurt him so badly, I could have actually gone and gone here. But it's fine. I could still attack here. But honestly, I think I'm going to attack here. <sighs> Do I? Oh, God. I think I go aggro. And I, I consume this. So we're above his normal. Uh, and then we do use one of these. I think we consume the, the raccoon. Because we're not going to benefit from that one that much. So, now if he switches, if he switches over, uh, it's still, uh, he has to do a 10k. Well, more than 10k. Okay, he does switches. Okay, he did 10k, now he has to do more. Does another 10k. So he got rid of two uh, Vegetas. They're really good Vegeta ramps that I wish I had, but I don't. Alright, and he had to block all of it. Alright, that's not bad for us. That's a good outcome. Now, we are at four, so it would have been nice to have cooler, but I think that worked out really good. Okay, he's swinging there. Do we care about saving it? He could then swing here to try to kill it, and that's kind of fine. Kind of fine with this. I guess I have to use one of these. I guess I get rid of King Cold. Oh, I was a fool! <sighs> I think we go here, force him to consume stuff. This is this is very aggro. It's kind of fun. We're at 45. Let's see what he does. <laughs> okay, did Gigantic Meteor? Oh, that's a bummer. That hurts the soul. That's why that card's so good. All right, and now the question is, do we even bring out the Frieza? If we brought it out, I could swing. It forces him to use cards, I guess. And then he's when he swings, he focuses mostly on this. But he might only focus on this. Which is kind of meh. But I guess we use it. Does use our energy. But, I mean, eh. Ah, the Brawly has arrived. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe block the second one if I can. Maybe he doesn't even swing the next time. He doesn't. Hey, I respect it. I respect the call. Not to be a Debbie Downer or a Doubter or nothing, but... What we're cooking in our hand is not that crazy, I'm gonna be honest. The early press was fun, though. I did enjoy that. Then again, he could just play another Brawly. He does have... I see it in his energy. He does play another Brawly. Uh, he has the androids. So, that's a thing. Oh, boy. Alright, I think we lost. Sadly, as we continued our journey with rank, we, for some reason, every single time we would we would win, we would then lose two games. And then we would get another win! And then we would lose two more games. Now, I should mention that I was having fun amongst these games. Yeah, some of them were with us playing Frieza, which, again, I think I was doing more better with. Uh, Cooler has a very similar function to Frieza, but it's a little bit harder to pilot. Frieza is a little bit more forgiving, and it's it's they're both enjoyable. I had a good time, but boy, it did seem weird that every single time we would get a win, we would then lose two more games. So, we weren't really making progression when it came to rank. Especially since if you look at the rank, how you actually progress in rank is whenever you get a win, you get 20 points. And then whenever you lose, you get minus 10 points. So literally, we were going nowhere. Where are we at with things? Rewards? Tier 4. It's true that the rank rewards don't really give that much when you actually look at it. Like you get some packs for progressing in the ranks. But again, this was more for me. I wanted to progress in the ranks. I wanted to get higher. Now, it wasn't all end that we've been losing, but I feel like we've been gaining sun. I think at the very least, we have been learning a little bit more of how to play the game. And maybe, maybe that's all we need to truly progress in the ranks. Uh, since we last streamed, some things has happened. I've spent money on the game. And so we, we got some cards in there. So we got some stuff for Goku Black. We actually finally got Gohan as a leader. I've been wanting Gohan for so long and I haven't played him because here's the thing. I don't like playing green anymore. <laughs> Everybody plays green or everybody's playing uh, the meta to stomp on green because green is so prevalent. 
which makes sense. It makes sense. Like, I have been playing mostly Starter Coup, is what people call it. The very first base starter deck, Goku deck, because he's pretty flexible. He's pretty good. He can do a lot, and... Uh, the upgrade path the cards to actually make him somewhat decent is actually pretty easy, and we actually have some of the cards that actually make him pretty decent. So that's why I've been using him. You can see the elephant in the room is my rank. We've been up at tier 1 for a while, for a tiny bit. It's been rough, but we're getting close to the end, and I'm feeling confident we can get today. Basically, we need two deck, we need two wins, and then we'll have our promotional match again as mentioned gold has been my goal like sure i want to get higher than gold if possible but like right now gold has been the goal so we'll see if we can reach it but this is like the the last push the problem is i kept getting wins and i'll lose wins and i'll win some and sometimes it's just you know bad luck or whoever you run into sometimes i play poorly that happens and then sometimes i'm like you know what i'm getting bored of playing just start a Goku. Let me try uh, Gohan, or let me try Brawly. Also, I heard Brawly's actually pretty solid to play, which is... I might need to play some more Brawly. The, again, the problem is, there are some cards that are just like, people have, that when you're up against another green deck, if they have these cards, it's just like, oh, okay, GG's. So, let's jump into a rank match with Goku Black, as I promised. Let's see how it goes. Gold four. All right. At least, at least, at least the gold opponent is low gold. All right. Do I want to keep this hand? Let's say yes. It's not amazing, but at least we have two. Oh, you're not a self waker. So let's do that, and then we either draw or we search. I think we search because this lets us. If we find two, we basically get to draw two cards. Maybe we draw two. Ooh, baby! It's one Goku Black and his Masu, but hey, at least we got our six drop. Because I've gotten into games where I didn't get my six drop, and it feels bad. But th those were games when I only had one. Now I have two. First off, let's get crazy with it and swing. <laughs> Okay, he did block, which is not great for us. I do kind of want to go aggro and just go heavy on him. I think we do this. I think we do the self uh, awakener next. Because that'll be one, and then we can do a two somewhere else. So let's do this this trunks here. Because we're not drawing right now. But that's okay, because we're going to be self awakening. Honestly, grit leaders are like, I don't know, they seem really cool to me. They seem pretty cool. So yeah, the nuts thing will be if we actually get the, the Zamasu's discard. Ooh, he's ramping. If we do the discard, then we can get this Goku Blackout for four? That's crazy. We play the Mai. Mai's nuts. Because you can self-awaken two. Or one. You have the option, which is crazy. First time I did it, I thought you could only do the one. Alright, and then we attack and mid-fight we switch. So, we're... S oh, we still don't get the crit. Ah, oh, it's the other way around. I'm a fool. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We're swinging with crit. I kind of wanted to kill him just so that we can confirm it but hey also look at that attack oh it's so good how do you like this color rosé rosé the one thing i don't like is his card doesn't let you to get too crazy in the sense that it's the one thing i don't like is it says during this turn so the time that you discard him and do it you have to play the goku black then to get that to use that discount the other part is it's once per turn so you can't just like which makes sense. It would be kind of nuts if you just like discard one, get the discount. Discard one, discount. So it's like if we had six energy, we could play this and this. Yeah, sure. That could be nuts. I would have loved it though. Okay, he's ramping. This is this is unnecessary. But I want to pressure him. So we swing and we get rid of a body. Because we could then discard him and So we're just getting the most of you. Because I want him to like use up his stuff. Cool. Good job. This is so unnecessary. This is so unnecessary, but I'm doing it just because I can. We use this 10k here and swing. So making him use use up stuff. Because we'll be able to get that Goku Black back anyways when we discard this Zamasu. Now we can get out this Goku Black for four. Ah, ah, ah. Then we'll get back this Goku Black. We swing first. See what we draw. There we go. Drew that. Now we know what we can plop out. Look at that! Oh, it looks so good. So clean. So tasteful. So I think we swing here. That 40 damage. And I think we go for we either go for the crit or we go for the Goku Black. Oh, I think we go for the crit. 
Bounce it to hand. We could also bounce one of our dudes back. I, I forgot about that. We could have gotten our Mai back to hand, so we could still use the, the the effect of it. Oh, I forgot about that! Yeah, her second apart, where auto, if you have seven fewer cards and use your skill to bounce a dude, you get that effect, which usually doesn't come up much in, tr in, in this deck because it's more prominent in Trunks decks, but hey, oh, so clean, so clean! But I wanted to do this because uh, if you attack at tens, it forces more cards. All right, now with this Son Goku, he can actually uh, do his ability where he puts a energy in the drop and then he gets 15, turning into 35, which is wild. We might actually win with this uh, uh, Goku Black. Okay, well, that's a problem. Who, who are you blowing up? My blocker? I think he, Yeah, I think he might do my blocker. Wow! He actually does go for the blocker. I think it's because he wants to swing at the Goku Black and kill it. That's what I would do. I, I think I would try to kill the Goku Black. Yeah, because I the value you get every single time you swing, you just as long as you have low enough cards, you can keep just getting cards out for free. It's nuts. Is that all? Mm, 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 mm. Fifty-five. Mm. Okay, so we super combo and then ten. Yep, we super combo at ten, baby. Goodbye, Fidel. Goodbye, Goku Black. There's always that moment that I'm like, did I math wrong? <laughs> There's always that moment of fear that it's like, did I math wrong? I think we swing at this Sun Goku, right? We need to get rid of that because that is, that is crucial to his plan. He's going to probably defend it. He doesn't. So now we're at we're at 40. So he has to use 20 or buff himself and, and a little extra, which is what he'll probably do. But if he does buff himself, he won't be able to be in range to do Brawly next turn. Which is good for us. That makes sense. But now he's down to three cards. Oh gosh, this is not great for us. He does pull. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Brawly. That actually was the best case scenario for us. That was actually the best case scenario for him. My other fear was that he was going to take it, go down to one, and then draw two cards and make sure he gets the Brawly. That was my other fear. This was probably the best case scenario for us. Now he plays Androids. <laughs> I don't think he has androids. His deck seems more like my deck. Okay. Okay. That's rough. That is rough. But he discards cards, so he has no cards in hand. He can't he can't even he can't even discard to kill kill my uh my Goku Black. That's so good. Okay. Uh Goku Black being out of range of that is so good. So it's 45. We have our super combo. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Is that our last super combo? Because we did charge one. We cannot win this turn. Next turn, he can't pull out Brawly. So I think I don't swing with Goku Black. Play down this Zamasu. Because now we have a blocker. Normally, I wouldn't play this, this other Zamasu. We play down... Oh, do I? This apartment wants to keep it in hand just for, like, he doesn't know what I have. But I also kind of want to play it just so that next turn, if we play another, like, to cheat out of Goku Black, we don't, we have as much energy to do that. I think we keep it in hand for Mysteriousness. We don't swing with Goku Black because I'm fine with him swinging at my face. He can't get Brawly out, so we're fine. Uh, either way, I need to keep this Goku Black alive for right now. Honestly, if the Goku, if if the Gohan swings at me, I don't even think I'll block that. We need cards. Desperately. Okay, he doesn't swing. Okay. I was going to say, we might block only because it might have had been a Android. And if it was an Android, that'd be a problem. Alright, I don't think we charge. I think we just swing. Let's see what happens. We have to go for the kill here. So, let's go down with my. Add two cards to our, to our life. Or from our life to our hand. Trunks youth. If we have seven less cards, it is a 25. And we could kill ourselves for Seppuku. If we want to go on our, our turns. For for Goku's black swing, we're hopefully doing this Goku black. So let's play peel off. Peel off. Get another Mai back. Alright, we put down this Trunks for a 25. We do not kill ourselves. Because that is bad. Nope. Don't care for that. I mean, we could play it. It doesn't matter, though. Um... Ah, I took too long. He 
If we lose, dude. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Oh no, I ran out of time again. I'm so upset. We had it. We so had it. I was going to swing with the trunks because he only had one card. So to block it, he didn't have that much. Uh, so 25 could have gotten through. And then we had our 40, which is more damage, which is harder to block. So even though he would have gotten one more card to block it, like, oh, uh, we had it. Oh, why do I always got to yap, yap, yap? Dude, that hurts the soul. Okay, maybe while I have, I, I do believe I have been learning some mechanics of this game, and I think I am getting better at the game. And yes, I do think it has helped that I spent money on the game. <laughs> I do think that truly has helped, but it does seem like it's odd that we're still running to the same pattern of I'll get a win and then I'll lose two more times. Now, part of that could be because I'm piloting some decks that I'm not fully used to or some decks that aren't fully optimized. Decks like Gohan are pretty much bread and butter. Everybody has been using it so much that the better pick has been yellow to counter that deck. And so everybody knows how to deal with that deck. And so unless you have a really optimized Gohan deck, it's kind of hard to actually pilot, which we don't have that much of an optimized Gohan deck. So it's kind of hard, even though I love Gohan and I'm glad we finally have him. It's, it might be a bit before I really spend some time with this deck. But I should always mention, I do think we are getting better. I think part of it is skill. Now, uh, we do kind of lean on to my other decks, though, because honestly, starter deck Goku, that deck has been great with the flexibility of being able to strategize. And honestly, I have enjoyed using some of the cards that are a little bit more controlly, even in red. Starter deck Goku. I want to I wanna show you how it's been because I've been I've been doing some some matches with him. I've been I've been getting some wins. I've been grinding the ranks. Ooh, actually, I think we keep this hand pretty good. I mean, we got we got Krillin, we got Hit. That's good. And then we got, like, that can kind of help search. We even got Frost for, like, if Frieza's going wide. Ooh, we do have Energy Marker. So I think we go crazy with it. We either go crazy with it with uh, Hit or we don't. I think we don't, actually. I don't want to swing because I don't want to wake him, wake him him early. Okay, we're going to draw no matter what, I think. So let's just draw. All right. And then I think maybe we pass turn. What is your favorite deck slash hero uh, now that you're further in and why? Well, like the big reason why Goku is really good, sorry, Gek, is his second ability is very flexible. And that's the fun part. But the other part that I like of the deck is I build it, I think, for what you would build for the Breer deck, which is these minus seeing fives to kind of like delete a card from, from, the, from the field. So I think I like those effects a lot. But so far, my favorite deck, I do enjoy the Goku Black deck. It has some interesting aspects of like the actual getting the Goku Black out. That six card, six drop card is kind of interesting. Freeze is really good and really crazy. Okay, I got to think about it. What, what am I doing? Honestly, probably out of the colors, the ones that I'm not in, the one I'm enjoying the least amount is probably honestly, uh, it's green. And that's only because there's with any other green matchups I run into, they actually have the the better green stuff. Like they have the the six drop stuff. And so I just haven't played green much. I liked androids though when I did play them. Just because their their combo and their synergy was kind of fun. Alright, let's swing here. We are gonna use a 10 drop. I wanna make sure we get through. <laughs> I want to try to kill this dude because he is important to the Frieza strategy. I probably should have used two. Yeah. Okay, so we do block this. We block this because he still needs to swing here to try to self-awaken. So this will bring us down to four and we'll be okay. Um, wow. I was not expecting that. That makes me want to play Frost. Just play Frost, not let him, uh, called turn, be able to actually switch. Because the other option is, is like, we do this, we self-awaken. If we played on Frost and he doesn't kill Frost, we could for sure uh, make sure he doesn't self-awaken next turn. Otherwise, we could we could awaken. We could play down like Krillin, self-awaken, and then play this and blow up one of his dudes. Which means he can still swing with one to bring him down to five. And then if he plays a self-awaken or he'll awaken. Let's play Frost. The bright side of actually self-awakening also is we could also... I don't know, it just would have been better. All right, let's just do this though. Let's swing here. Okay, put down knees. That makes sense, because now he goes down. 
plays down another knees. Does he? Does he play another knees? Another knees would save him. Ah. This frees up, where when blocking, choose up to one or one of your opponent's battle cards would cost two or less and switch to rest mode. Doesn't swing, so he doesn't make us into uh, awakening. Makes sense. You know what? Let's do this only because we won't have to swing. Because I don't want to swing and bring him to awakening. Do we kill knees? I think we kill knees. Yeah, we kill knees. Because knees is at 20. I was supposed to awaken first. Ah! I was supposed to awaken first! I was a fool! Oh man, that hurts the soul. Past turn. We are awakened now, so now we can do our do our plus five from our leader. So that'd be good. That'll be good. Yep, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for the 40 Frieza. So we super combo, do 20, and then we do our skill to plus five extra. Yay! You know what? I think I play. I think I play uh, Goku because it minus is 20. So we play him down, minus 20, and then we start swinging. Oh, I was a fool. That one blocks two or less. That's Krillin. I was a fool. I should have swung Krillin first. Sorry, Krillin. So I think we're in a good. We're we're making it work. Okay, he's not blocking, so he doesn't want to lose a piece. Uh, but we're gonna go here. We're not gonna buff yet. Oh, I'm a fool. Oh, because now I swing here and he could still do that. All right. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It means he either lets this through or he blocks. We kill this and it's fine. And then we have to try to just defend against this again. Not ideal, but we're making it work. He can still play Golden Frieza now. That won't be blocked by Frost. So we're kind of losing momentum, to be honest. Golden Frieza. I assume... Oh, I assume he makes Goku not be able to swing. Yep, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Oh, I forgot. This freeze is still in rest mode. Yeah, because it doesn't unflip on his charge. I forgot about that, actually. Dang. So we super combo, and we're fine. Nice. We could just do the plus five here. Plus five, and he lives, and we didn't even have to use a card. That That is, like, some of the most value we get from playing base Goku is you don't have to use cards a lot of times to like save on both sides. And it's just, mm, chef's kiss. We play Son Goku and Fua. So that's 15, this is 20, so we got 35, so we can instantly kill his Golden Frieza. That is the plan. Is there any shenanigans I have to do first? No. Okay, for once there isn't. <laughs> a lot of times there's like some kind of shenanigan and I misplay and then, ugh, oh my soul. And again, this feels more like the Beerus plan. So it's like... It's kind of why I was kind of hoping we would get Beerus. Is because, like, man, that actually would have been nice. 10, 10. We get up to 20 or get to 40. Swing here. If it doesn't work, then we swing here and buff him by 5. By our leader. Use cards, baby. He doesn't. Dang. All right, I think we go in for the swinging now. Now we go in crazy. Cause he's at five, he can't do much. This is the plan. Okay, doing the two, it'll bring him down to three. He will be able to self-awaken, but he only has two cards. I mean, this will give him two, so it's not like amazing. There was a question of just passing turn there and not even swinging here, but I think this is fine. Ooh, don't remember what you do, but you activate and then make something else can't be unactivated. Switch this card to rest mode, choose up to opponent's rest mode card, it can't be switched back to active, yep. The problem is, he does have these to consume for uh, combo power. Because it is a crit. If we hit him, he can't really do much about it. Play down. We kill Gildo only because, yeah. he He's a 10k. We'll swing here. Give you the minus. Wow. Okay. Actually, I did not know. Okay. So now he'll have to use a super combo or more. Is this still winnable? Yes. I'm just worried about our momentum. <laughs> I'm really worried about our momentum. I really am. I'm going to be honest, guys. I got to use the Russian bad. Oh, it's opponent's turn? Perfect, because I got to use the Russian. I'll be right back. Wait, actually, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I have zero time, so I have to activate. I have to, I have to pay attention, see what he does. Because if he, like, tries to swing, my options of swinging or taking it is limited. Okay. 
Do I have to buff? Okay, we're fine. We have eight seconds now on our timer. Whoa! We charge this, obviously. Uh, we then go crazy with the double strike, right? Because he's going to have to block this. No, he just gives up. GG's! Good game, good game. Hey, man. This was a good match, and we are closely ranked. Ooh. With our morale boost of our victory, we commit with using Sword of Goku, because truly, if you ask the question, who can beat Goku? The answer is true. Nobody can beat Goku. And as we continue to rise of rank, we finally see if we can actually meet our goal of getting gold. All right, finally, the time has come for our promotional battle to see if we can make it to gold. And we're versus the bronze too. Oh. Okay, that's good for them. They did use the energy marker, which it's risky, but at the same time, like this is a good card because then he can do that, flip this, swing in there and kill the Roshi. So it's not like the worst thing for him. Goodbye, Roshi. Goodbye. Swing here. Are you going to waste 10 or more? No. Good pull. Good call. Good call. Hmm. I say let's swing and see what happens. The pro play is wait till turn six and then we play two of these to kill all the 20s. I think we just play Android, right? I think we just try to self-awaken. Yay! We got hit. That's who I want. So this isn't... I mean, I guess I could have guessed by also the Kui, but this isn't like a full-on, full-on starter deck. Going wide with the Ginyu. Swing at me. Yes! Yes! Ah! 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 I awaken! Bah! Alright, and now we just go for his board. Ooh, I forgot. Krillin! All right, yeah, we play Krillin. Swing with Krillin here. Minus 20 on the Ginyu. Just zap him. Get him with the bug zapper. Then plus five here. The plan, the pro strat, I messed this up. I should have swung with Goku first. But the pro strat for them is to just let Krillin kill it. And then if I want to draw a card from my leader, I would have to swing at Frieza. But they save it. Okay, well, let's do 10 so that if he does want to keep them, he would have to do more than 10. Kind of getting rid of his board before we go in, I feel like is a good idea. Look, I'm showing this guy what it looks like to go even further beyond. It's taking a bit. Hey, I don't blame him. It's a tough decision. Or, look, it's either a tough decision or you did what I do. <laughs> Where it's like, oh man, I gotta use the restroom. Let me really quickly go away. And then come back and be like, oh, sorry, I took so long. And try to, oh, it says waiting for a opponent to reconnect. So either having internet issues or he did just leave. I don't understand why that. I, I don't know. I, I can only see someone disconnecting. The biggest one is like, oh, if something happens. Like, oh, I have to leave. So I have to turn off stuff and leave. I can see something like that or your thing got turned off. Like my PC is trash. If it barely gets touched, sometimes it just stops. Sometimes I don't even touch it and it just stops. So like, I can understand that. But like actually willfully disconnecting, I don't understand it because... I, I guess the idea is maybe like rage quitting is the idea. I think that's the closest reasoning. If there's systems for like surrendering, like you don't want to surrender because oh, I'm going to get punished if I surrendered. Like that still happens if you disconnect. So it's like, I, I, don't, I don't see the idea of the reasoning for, for disconnecting. I guess the idea might be is to make the person that you're raging about suffer by forcing them to wait. I will say the ultimate problem here is this player was a bronze player. Bronze too. It's not like beginner beginner, but still bronze. Like he's not even silver. And I'm trying to get into gold. Another victim to, to matchmaking. That That is probably one of the biggest things that everybody's wanting uh, to be changed with this game. To be like upgraded, to be fixed is the matchmaking. Sure, there's stuff about like gems and whatnot, like for free to play players. Yeah, I, I would love that to be better. For sure, but I think matchmaking is the biggest one that everybody's like, yeah, it's kind of rough. People who are at gold or masters, it's like, hey, or, or god, it's the highest level. It's like, hey, we would like to fight people on the same level, not bronze. And then, you know, just vice versa. It's like, yeah, I, all the best matches I've had so far have been with other silver players, like people on par. So it's like, I don't know, it's rough. Is this truly how we win? Is this how you get into gold? Is this the way to get into gold? Is by forcing your player to disconnect? This really is a Dragon Ball-like game. 
All I'm doing is charging. I'm just charging the whole the whole game. Whole game. Vec Dore! Game one to, to opponent disconnect. Love to see it. A victory is still a victory. And so with that, we've made out silver. And we fought our way to gold. I have achieved my ultimate goal. To get it to gold. I am glad we made it to gold. I feel bad that it was on a disconnect. That's rough. Doesn't always happen. It does happen. Got my weekly goal. Yay! My weekly. And we made an achievement of reaching to gold. Yay! Right, I always forget. Their tiering their tiers tier rewards for gems is never tier five. It's always tier four, tier three, tier two, tier one. I'm I wonder if that's like a mental thing to try to get you to keep grinding. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Like you get to the next stage, you're like, oh cool, I made it. And you don't get any gems for it. <laughs> now I'm still gonna be playing like i i still want to i still want to get to platinum masters i i want to get up there if, if possible you know that is a goal but this was the bare minimum of what i wanted to reach was was gold and i am i'm happy to reach it wasn't expecting it and i'm i'm glad to be here i know i said it several times throughout this video ultimately i like this game I enjoy it a lot, it's a lot of fun, and honestly, it's a great way to jump into the game. If you wanna get the physical stuff, hey, that's cool. For me, it's one of those where it's cool to collect it, to have it, maybe in the future a friend of mine might get it, maybe I'll get another starter deck and I can actually play physically with them, but for the most part, I have a feeling most of my journey with this game will be online. And you know what? I'm okay with that. The online has been fun. Is there problems with it? countless problems but i still enjoy it can you still play as free to play you can you i do truly believe you can there's a content creator called espira he's actually doing a challenge as free to play and you could follow him so if you really do view it as hey i actually want to consider this a 10 dollar game a 20 dollar game do that probably will be a better experience still will be cheaper than the game if you go in with that mindset or even set a limit of how much money you're going to spend on it i think that's good but i don't regret how much money i've spent on this game i've enjoyed my time with it and you know what, if you want to play it, hey, do it. One last thing I do want to talk about though is Dragon Ball Z and etc. has been such a massive impact on my life. I've mentioned that several times. It's the reason why I care about getting stronger and improving myself, whether it's physically or mentally. Going forward in life in an optimistic way, not only has been it greatly impacted through Christianity and, and Jesus, but also I do believe God has used Dragon Ball Z in a way to also use it as a tool to motivate me. I say this because I just want to say thank you to everybody, Akira Toriyama, and everybody who has worked on Dragon Ball to provide the product. While doing this, uh, sadly, Akira Toriyama has passed away, and I just want to show my appreciation. So, thank you. Bye.